Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to quickly go through the new latest release from um, the Asus WRT Merlin project. Um, so this new release uh, is 386.2 underscore 4 so um, it skipped one number uh, I believe because that was the uh, beta version of it um, and that's the latest release that was come out on the 30th of April um, so I just wanted to quickly go through what the change is and uh, what it's added and uh, also just so uh, I did have a quick look on the Asus website um, to see about what the latest firmware, see if they've had any up further updates from last time and they still have the uh, beta version from uh, 1st of February so there's no further updates as yet and that will of course like in the previous video it just uh, fixed some security issues that they had. Um, there was quite a few and they've updated that. Um, so that was the only real fixes that was in that beta version. And I think they've released it quickly because of the security. Um, so again, if we go back to uh, the Merlin, um, as you can see here, it's only in the last uh, probably update that they've started to support our GTA X11000 uh, router. Um, so it's really good. And as I said before, there's other videos I've done previously um, that you can see about more information about what Merlin is. Basically, it's a third party uh, firmware um, that you can get and you can customize it much more. But one good thing is it's still based on the actual Asus firmware. So you still get your um, AI protection and all the other features you get and you've paid for um, with your uh, router from Asus. So that's really good. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do is go to their website if you're interested anytime and under documentation they've got there the change logs and we just want to go to the uh, current and as you can see here there's a few uh, fixes and new things and updates they've added. So we've got here they've added um, to also non-NHD models in addition to uh, HND models as well and of course ours I believe is a is the uh, letter um, it is a HND model RAX 11000 so they've added this uh, new um, jitter um, so basically what this does uh, from my understanding and there probably is more clever people out there is that what this does is a random number generator uh, it uses to create cryptographic keys um, so I think it adds to a pool uh, and I think an example would be is in situations that might lead to a, a staff situation where multiple crypto creation and other processes require random number generators and sometimes they'll run out and I think this process uh, can replenish that pool so it can keep generating them crypto keys. Um, so that's always a good thing to have um, and for security as well for encryption. So that's really good addition. Um, they've updated the open VPN to 2.52 um, and that's added some new security fixes um, but no new uh, features um, and again he's updated the, around here about the library for the first one and so also there's two bugs that's fixed uh, the schedule for new firmware checks uh, wouldn't display under the uh, web UI so that's when you log in using your 192.168.50.1 on through Chrome or Safari um, or Opera or Firefox, whatever your browser you use. Um, and it says the web uh, UI notification icon when the local router had a new release available. So basically it wouldn't display the icon there and now it's fixed that, so that's good. And uh, normally that icon, the little flashing icon you will be able to see um, and you can click on it and then you can update the uh, firmware and then all again uh, the fixed is the about around the open VPN server um, so it wouldn't flip into an error state um, when initializing on the uh, web UI um, so that's basically when an inbound client failed to connect to it so he's fixed that bug as well so if you had any issues um, it's good and as you can see here they constant update so even within April you can see there's been three updates just in April uh, on this firmware and whoever the developers are and everything else are doing an amazing job and um, if you ever do have any spare uh, money I know things are tight these days 
but it's always good to donate and support these uh, people that are doing it because it is for free and look, you can see all the effort they put in um, again like on the 2nd of April I mean look at all the features they've added and fixed and updated um, and then also added our support for the AX11000 um, and they're always adding and fixing changes so making sure our networks and everything else is secure so they're doing a really good job and I think if you haven't tried it it is very straightforward and like you see my other videos uh, you can just download this and then upload it um, and you don't have to do anything special with your firmware um, sometimes if you do have any issues um, with, with Wi-Fi that's not connecting properly you may have to reset back to factory settings and then set up your uh, router again but um, I haven't had that issue but if you do I would advise but perhaps just copy and paste into a, a document all your details and everything else and some screenshots perhaps so it remembers and then you can set it back up from that and then it will only take you around 10 minutes just to pre-fill everything and paste it everything back in um, so yeah as we've gone over uh, there is no official update from the official firmware from February um, but I would advise if you have a look here have a look at some of the previous videos if you're not too sure what Merlin is and I do recommend it and I think a few of the other people that have commented as well it's been really stable and I've had no issues with it as well and it does add some really good features um, to your uh, router um, now it's uh, We've got some new ones coming out for the uh, 6E and everything else. But I think this one, to be honest, is still um, one of the best ones out there, even though it's been out for a while. And you can see there's constant updates coming through. Um, also, just uh, finally, if you want to follow any on Twitter, um, then uh, this is the uh, the handle for um, and the person you want to follow. He's the lead developer for Merlin, and he's always putting out tweets when there's new updates. Um, and it was always quite interesting to see uh, people asking questions and things like that and he, he seems to respond so it's been another good person to follow as well okay so i hope you enjoyed this quick video on the update and as i said uh, once you've uh, found this you can just you can either go to the website and then you've got the latest downloads here and you can download it here as well okay uh, thanks for watching and as usual if you have any questions then leave them in the comments and i'll try and do my best to answer them